just want to do a quick video. Um, this is, I believe, it's a uh, nickel iron set of cells, two of them, from the former Soviet Union. Let's see if I can get that. NKN dash ten. Nineteen fifty five. November nineteen fifty five. One one sixty nine, February nineteen sixty nine. So these these have been made for a long time, uh, but they're new and unused. They're sold to me as a radio battery. So uh, I don't know. I think they're nickel iron, but they could be nickel cadmium. But I think they're nickel iron. Um, there's no way to tell without looking inside the uh, the battery itself. And I, what I'd like to get is a with uh, cameras on it that that you can stick down inside and things like a catheter, like a catheter camera. You know, stick it, stick, stick, look down in there and see. I could tell if it's cadmium, nickel, or uh, or iron nickel, possibly. But uh, you'd unscrew the the top and uh, put in the uh, uh, potassium hydroxide, distilled water, and uh, lithium monohydrate uh, left right solution in there, and then charge them and be activated, ready to go. I think I think it's, ba it's basically uh, emergency reserve or war reserve stock, and uh, able to get a hold of these. And I assume because they're ne they've never been activated, I assume I could get get the electrolyte prepared and get them activated. But the problem with them is they're too small for my purposes. I mean, I think these would be good for make maybe a little flashlight or a little radio, obviously. But other than that, forget it. Maybe a little fan or something, but. Um, yeah, they're just too small. And so they're packed in this rubber uh, rubber envelope. And then there's a little bit of a, maybe a Bakelite type divider. And um, this is what they look outside. Get the ribbing. You know these could actually be nickel cadmium because they got a lot of features that's similar to an actual nickel cadmium cell I have. I mean, I'll do a video on that comparing them. But um, yeah, if these were in a wood case, this would be like a we call them a, a boss or a nipple. There would be nipple, but they're, they're missing that. So, um, it might be nickel, nickel cadmium. Because they got a lot of similarities to a nickel cadmium cell that made by NIFE that I have. So, interesting. I need to do a comparison video on that. But, um, yeah, there's this, uh, this guy, uh, is it the lighter? Whoops, it's hiding. Let's see that? There's this guy. Uh, yeah, it's like Bakelite. That that particular Russian Bakelite uh, you always see on their civil defense stuff. Um,
but I've seen it on, on some uh, German stuff too, so I wonder if the, the Soviets took it and made it and Sovietized it or something. But um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's this uh, there's this this guy on YouTube. He made a a, a famous uh, video on uh, the nickel iron batteries, but he may have actually had a nickel cadmium. Looking at the you know what? I, I don't like when people say I'll do it in a future video. Just hold that right here. I'll pull out what I'm talking about. While, while I'm thinking about it, because you never know. I mean, I, it's Murphy's Law everywhere in this place. I'll tell you. Just wait there for a second. Still with me? Just one more second here. Let me grab my uh, my battery reference book here. Okay, you like this? Okay, so here's a an NIFE battery, and look at the suspensions on there. You seen those before? Don't they look a lot like that? The suspensions on there. We'll hook them up, hook them up similar. Look at that. See the suspensions? See what I'm talking about? The boss or the nip the nipple? What else? You see that see the ribbing on there? What does that remind you of? Reminds you of that, don't it? I'm being a little particular because I think this old knife NIFE battery has some electrolyte still in it. So a lot of similarities there. Um But I have this this uh, Soviet battery book, I think it was for technical school basically, maybe high school, I don't know, but I think they gave them our te technical education. Uh, and there's a, there's a art, there's a bit on here, let me see. I remember noticing this before, and I, I should probably make note of it here. How hard to go? I think it's around here. Oh, Jesus, should have a better organization. Where to go? I was hoping I'd just fall upon it, but most uh, battery books talk. about Consolidated battery books talk about lead batteries first, and they go to the uh, alkaline lead acid, and they go to the alkaline batteries afterwards. But I've noticed uh, different countries and stuff. Where is it? When I first saw this, I was so shocked. Um, doit, doit, where'd it go? Where did it go? I cannot see it. I'm not seeing it. I'm trying to do this video real quick before work. Oh, it's closer. Okay, so there's a ribbed battery. I think these are the nickel cadmiums. Oh, 
you what, let me find it real quick because I'm not having any luck. Wait here for a second. I know it's, it's kind of aggravating, but I'm trying to do this Johnny on the spot. And uh, it's, it's basically this or nothing at all. So I mean, if you don't, if you don't want, if you if you want nothing at all, it's easy. Getting out some out some content out. The last minute. Right now it's it's super hot right now outside, and I'm gonna go cook for a while. After I get done with this. Almost like it doesn't want to give out the secrets. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like not a secret. It's more like forgotten because no one uses this anymore. Oh, where'd it go? So how you been? You doing well? Uh, what kind of person watches a video like this? Probably someone really curious or really bored or drunk or you know what? Am I crazy? Did I not see that? So anyway, uh I'm not seeing it, dude. What the heck? I can't exactly go to Table of Cottons because I'm not that, not that good on this book. So yeah, nickel cadmium and uh, nickel iron. That's quite a mixed up deal trying to figure it out. Makes some good content though, because um, it's hard, hard, hardly anybody wants to fool with it. You know, I'm not seeing it uh, so much for. Uh, it's just one little picture. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I know I saw it. I know I saw it somewhere. I, it's got to be in this section somewhere. Gosh, I got to get going here soon. Let me try one last time to find it. It's not here. So anyway, uh, this this is uh, there's is talking about Murphy's law. That's the idea. If it can go wrong, it will. I have actually actually uh, played with that. Um, by making things go wrong. Oh, here it is. Yeah, right here. Okay, so check this out. You see that? You see that cell? And then look at this cell. It's the same. Minus the NIFE trademark on there. Which... Which doesn't mean nickel iron anymore. In the early days, it did. Now it, they went on the nickel cadmium. But you see, you see the suspension bosses on there. What does that remind you of? You see that? So um, hopefully that was worth the wait. Um, and there's the tops there. So I, I'm, I'm more focused on nickel iron batteries, but uh, inevitably nickel cadmium has become part of the uh, mm. part of the uh, the research because 
they're so uh, interchangeable and competitive with each other. So, yeah. Well, I hope that helped you out as far as the, the Soviet nickel iron and nickel cadmium uh, situation. There has been a lot of data on the internet, you know, actual physical objects and stuff, and trying to figure things out. But uh, hopefully, there's some of the tops. That looks like. So hopefully, that'll. Uh, I don't even want to open this. It's so high, there might be some pressure. Yeah. Might be some pressure. Well, I'm not supposed to open these. Unless you're adding. Okay, well, yeah, your uh, electrolyte will carbonize exposure to, to the open air. So, yeah, this is an interesting book. I should probably um, digitize it and translate it. But I don't have a lot of time. And you know why? Because. I thought I could do YouTube and um, work from home and stuff, but it just isn't working. I don't have enough interest. Uh, electrochemistry is just uh, not really popular. Uh, I plan on branching out into some of this uh, solar panels to, to crack water to make hydrogen. I'm going to play with that. I've been trying to do some more research and stuff. and But yeah, but anyway... I think solar hydrogen and solar power and all that it should be uh, mastered. So get 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 a, get help yourself. Uh, I'm not I'm not one of these people that won't try other so energy sources as well. But I'm on a budget, and if the sun will provide me energy for just being there without charging me, let, let's do that primarily. All right, thanks. It's been military must uh, military industrial museum.